Okay, so from the last episode, I went ahead and I glued in all the interior parts. So on the rear bulkhead, I've done the chipping, which I forgot to do when I did the floor. I think it's a wee bit heavy than I, I wanted on the inside. And then the rear is, is more what I'd imagined. So I've also included the levers. There was a piece of photo wedge for the gearbox gate, the gearbox lever, and then another lever in there. The full wedge was very nice. I've also uh, masked up and sprayed MIG recommended red leather. I just used Tamiya's red hull for the seat box and the seat pads. And then the frames, seat frames as well, put in as well. So what remains now for, to finish the carb off is to do the dust and then attach uh, the rear, uh, sorry, the side panels, which I've already painted up. And then there's clear glass or clear plastic to go in for the glass. So for the, for the dust, I just want to apply it on top of the flat surfaces and then a build up uh, on the floor where dust and dirt's been dragged in and accumulated in the corners. So for pigments, uh, I've, I've got a selection of rust tones, but the only other one I've got is a sand, which is going to be okay for maybe some of the lighter or some of the top surfaces to apply to but the local hobby store where I've got all the pigments from is a fair distance away so what you can do is buy uh, a selection of, or a set of pastels now these are relatively cheap these were twelve dollars for 24 whatever I'm not interested in these ones but these ones here will be good for the earthy tones maybe a sand here I've already got rust tones anyway so I don't need them so these are quite easy to, to, to make up yourself so all you need to do is if you have a piece of paper I've put a crease in the middle and then I've already had a, a try on this one. If you just get your pigment or your pastel block and it doesn't take much at all to scrape this off. I've seen people do it on sandpaper, uh, cheese graters, but I found just the edge of the knife is really quick. So you just keep doing that until you've got enough. And then once you've collected, I got, again, just from the local office supply store, just a set of cheap plastic cups that you can seal. Obviously not as professional as getting the original mix and whatnot, but all you need to do after that is, if you set that aside, Get your paper. I'm not sure if you can see, but just uh, get your pigments uh, slid down into the container. So what I'll do is I'll go off camera. I'll, I'll make up a couple of colours. That's like more of a dark earth colour. Well, I'll try some of these as well. That one's a bit too ready, so maybe this one. And then a combination of this and that, and maybe the sand will uh, we'll start applying it dry. Okay, so what I've done is I've dispensed some of the pigments I'm going to use. Uh, this one looks quite green, 
but I think it's a good substitute to the sand one instead. Uh, it's not quite as bright as the sand. These two earthy ones uh, are quite nice in their own, but mixed together gives like a real dark earth colour. So that's the ones I'm going to, to work on. So what I'm going to do first is uh, using this more greeny one, start working on the the flat top surfaces. These are all going to be dry. Uh, I'm only going to do wet on the, the floor and we'll, we'll get to that next. Just, uh, just start applying this to the, to the flat surfaces. Building up a bit heavier on the back. And then coming to lighter down the sides. I'm not sure where these boxes are here. I don't, I'm not going to put any on that because I don't want to, I like that uh, finish on there. Uh, so I'll kind of keep that, I'll just kind of leave that on the instrument panel. I'll just do down the sides and on the top, purely because there's a photo wedge to go on top of there. And what I'll do is I'll... Uh, we we'll use some of this to go across the top, so the backrests and on the seat bases. do as well as <clears throat> just on the on the tops down the sides The driver's seat's going to get the heavy wear because that's that seat will be in use all the time. Passenger seats more likely the the outer one will be heavily used, and then this one depends how many crew I guess is. I mean I don't know if in actual fact these all these seats were occupied, so I might use one of these earthier tones here. Just for more of the centers. Really, if I did that middle one, but hopefully we can uh, fix it up. There's quite a bit dropping down as well, but that's okay. We'll we'll come back in a second and. Might 
use some of this darker one on the top edge here. I'm just doing the dry areas first uh, because I don't want to, once I start doing the wet, uh, the effect's quite different so I don't want to mix and match these and I'll, sh I'll do that first. I'll do the dry first and then we'll come back and have a look at the how I'm going to do the wet and where and why. It's quite heavy, but that's okay. So what I've done, it looks quite messy at the moment, but I've got my airbrush ready. There's nothing in it, it's just for air to blow the loose stuff off and then we'll work the dry again. So with all the loose blown off, uh, we can kind of just finesse some of these dry bits. Might just put a bit more in the front of that. So uh, once uh, the, it will just start spreading out and it'll take a fair bit of work to, to get it back. So <clears throat> for Christmas I got a, sec a selection of ammo and AK weathering brushes. According to the the box, this is for for uh, pigment. So it's I don't know how much it's going to work. But. I think the, the seats aren't exactly what I was looking for, but I'll leave them. I quite like the front uh, engine cover. I like how that's came up. Okay, so for the the floor, what I was thinking is, oops, I'll do a mix of these two dark ones, or these two darker ones, 
Now, give it some more mud color, maybe. So what I'm thinking is they're going to accumulate into the corners. I mean, just by default, mud and dust will collect there. Quite heavy in the corner. And then <clears throat> things like against the seat rails here. No one's feet's gonna be able to wear away that area. A bit more against the seat rail here. And then a bit it'll be dusty underneath. And then the same for the driver side. So again, we've got accumulation in that corner here coming up to the sides. This back area. Around where these controls are. Again, people's feet not going to be able to clear that up. I'll just okay, so if I can just tidy that up. Okay, so <clears throat> with the pigment in place, what we do now is we'll get the enamel odorless thinners <clears throat> and we want to flood the brush and then touch beside the pigments. We don't actually want to disturb the pigment, but if we touch beside it, it will flow into them and wet them out. And if you get the, the volume of pigment, uh, if you get the volume of thinners correct and not too much, it still has that lumpy, muddy effect. If you put too much on, it actually kind of not dissolves, but smooths it all out. So we want to kind of leave it as lumps rather than spread out. I have to do it quite heavy because I can't, in this area, because I can't get the, the brush in. Fully. There's some All 
Press some under the seat, I forgot a lot. Okay. Okay, so I'll stop there. Uh, the thinners will take a, a fair bit of time to dry. So we'll come back and have a look and see what the effect is. So even when it was applied quite heavily in the corners, once the thinners has hit it, it's sunk down. So it's the volume just isn't what we were expecting, or what we had put in. I don't want to start dragging it out, because when it dries out, uh, it's going to be very light, and then we'll have to try and remove it again. So we'll, we'll let it dry and see what the effect is, and then we'll come in and touch up anything that we need to. So that's the carp dried out now from the thinners for the for the mud effects. Or the dust I should say. So as you can see along the back it's kind of still remained granular based on the amount of thinners it went on under the pedals still a bit granular as well which is okay and then in this corner it's not as heavy as I thought I thought I'd get a real build up here and I could go back in and build it and build it but I think uh, I think it's as much as I want to go and then against the seat rails here we can see I can draw in there it's, it's a lot lighter than I was going for in fact the seats are heavier than <laughs> the floor. I'd have liked this to be a bit more reduced and this a bit more heavier, but I think that's it. I'll go with it there. So the next thing up is to attach the, the sides. So there is glass for these. And they're, they're quite clear. There's a few little, I don't know, pinholes or inclusions in them, but they're pretty good as they were straight off the spoon, so. What I'll do is I'll insert them into the, the box of the side panels. And I thought I'd use a Ultra Glue, Ultra Glue uh, from Amo. It's an acrylic, I guess it's like a PVA type glue and it's for like photo etch and kind of piece and whatnot. So it dries clear and it's supposed to be pretty good for this application. So I'll just put a little dot in each corner or two corners, that should be enough. I don't want to squeeze it out all over the place. So. That's probably the ample. Try again. There we go. Uh, and, and that should be that should be more than enough to hold it. What I do is I'll just press it home your kitchen towel. I don't want to put fingerprints on it at all. That's one, and again, just a dab in oopsie corners, more than enough, I think. Push 
shit. Push it home. Unfortunately, I lost the footage of attaching the sides. Uh, it was a pretty straightforward exercise anyway, so. So that's the weathering of the carb interior done with the, the pigments. What I'll do is, when I come to do the rear coup area in the cargo bed, I'll weather it using the same process of just showing, you know, might come back into the front and just uh, put a bit more in. The effect wasn't as heavy on the floor as I was expecting. And the seats are heavier than I was expecting, so I'll try and probably reduce that a bit more on the seats and increase the, the dirt and dust on the floor.